Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we create a report on catalog variables. This is a very, very common question asked on ServiceNow community. So I thought of creating a video on this. And if you want to learn basics of service catalog, please click on the top right corner on my service catalog playlist. And if you are not sure what are catalog variables, I'll just quickly show them on ServiceNow to you. And then we will go ahead and create report on that. I'm in service now. I will go to maintain items and I will open one of the items. For example, iPhone 6. And as soon as I open this and I scroll down at the bottom, there are two variables here which signifies what type of iPhone 6 anyone requires. That is the color or how many gigs of storage. If I click on try it, you would be able to see the example here, what color and what how many gigs. So these are variables on the catalog item. Now they are not stored as columns like other columns on service. Now they are stored in some other format. So it is difficult to pull out report on them. So in this video, I will be showing how can you create that report in service. Now I'll create a report. I'll click on create new and I can give the report name here. For example, variable report. I'll keep the source type as table and select the table as the requested item. So SC underscore REQ underscore item. And as soon as you select that, you would be able to click on next. And you will get the list view of all the R items which are in service now. Right now there are only six which I have created. And if you want to learn about basics of service now reporting, you can click on the top right corner. Here I had tried to explain all the type of reports. Right now we will keep it as the list view which is already selected. So to this one list view. I'll click on next. And I will go to choose columns. I will click on this. And if I scroll down at the bottom, I would see variables with a plus sign here. And if you notice this drill down button came here for other fields, it would wouldn't be there. The fields which have plus. It will show only for them. I'll click here on plus a pop up comes up and it asks me which particular item you want to select for reporting on for variables. I'll go ahead and select iPhone again. And I want both of the variables here. I'll move them to the right hand side and I'll scroll up these values and I will click OK. And I will run this report. And I will also save this report. And now if you notice there are different R items created for iPhone 6s which have the variable values in them as well like what color would you like how many gigs of storage and so on. Also if you want to put any other condition here for example item name again you can select the item which you had selected here iPhone 6s. Or on based on stages. If I select here stage and I can say which have been approved or waiting for approval or have been fulfilled or are waiting for fulfillment or closed or closed incomplete completed. So you can create report based on your conditions. And if you want to learn how to create dynamic dashboards or the interactive dashboards where you can change the values of items stage dynamically on that dashboards using interactive filters and the report would be automatically updated. You can click on the top right corner to create those dashboards. And if you have any questions, please let me know in comments. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.